So you guys, the thrift gods have been good to me. Hi everyone, Andy here coming at you with another really big haul video. So I have accumulated a pretty sizable haul of stuff I need to list and show you guys. Um, and so I'm gonna get started today with stuff from two different trips. So majority of it came from one trip to Value Village or Savers, depending on where you are in the country, in the United States. And I just like, I'm looking at the stuff. I just, very rarely do I go to a single thrift store and actually get like a cart's worth of stuff. So um, I was like amazed. And it also happened to fall on a coupon day. So I actually got to get 30% off the stuff. So which is awesome on top of it. And then I also stopped by a very random garage sale. And when I first pulled up, I was like, ew, this is probably going to just be gross junk, but found three gems in it for a pretty good deal. So I can't wait to show you those two. Okay. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing that I got that I need your guys' help on is this giant metal bust. So I think at some point she may have been a lamp because she has like this hole up here and then a little tiny hole in the back, but nothing underneath. So this sucker is weighty. Like she is legit heavy. Um, and so I have no idea <laughs> if I'm going to actually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with her, frankly, because if you are a reseller, especially like online, weight is not something that you ever want because it just increases the cost of shipping. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this gal, but I thought she was just awesome. I mean, she has so much detail and look at that face and like amazing patina. So yeah, I thought she was very cool. Busts are very popular right now, like extremely popular. Um, so yeah, they're flying off the shelves, man. People are decorating with them. They just kind of like that old world vibe of them. So yeah, they're very popular. So that's why I got her. So the three things I'm going to show you from the garage sale, um, yeah, I'm just looking at like, where are they at here? Um, I got for $10 total. So she was like, I don't know, $3 out of that. So yeah, just couldn't pass on it, even though I'm not sure exactly what she is. So if you know, and if you think she's a lamp, let me know, because I need to do a little bit more research. I did a little bit of a Google lens, didn't have as much luck, but yeah, definitely let me know what you think of her. So the next item from the garage sale is this absolutely giant wood Bowl. So it has the carved edges here, no like real markings on the bottom, but I just thought it was awesome. I mean, like pieces like this are amazing as like a centerpiece item or even as something on, like if you have a very large island and you need like something to corral all your crap, like your mail, your keys, etc. These are your like hero piece in terms of like keeping some order. Um, on a kitchen table or, or a kitchen island for that matter. So yeah, I thought it was awesome. I mean, look at how big it is. It is huge. So yeah, I thought this with the bust and then the next piece I'm going to show you, which is this piece of pottery. I thought for $10 seemed like a really good deal. I probably could have, he willingly took $10 like sure. So I'm like, Oh, I think he was thinking like he got a good deal. I thought I got a good deal because I know if I were to, you know, resell these things, I would make a lot more money. Uh, I hate when people say like, how much do you want to offer? Because like, of course the part of me is like, I need to offer nothing <laughs> because of my margins, but I'm like, Ooh, but I'm going to make money on it. So I don't want to be rude. So anyways, the dilemma is of a reseller, but this piece right here, if you can see has very cool etchings. It's actually kind of, yeah, I guess they are hearts there. So I just thought the tones were really nice. You don't see this camel color um, very often, which I thought was really pretty. It has the very like narrow neck. In terms of the funny thing is they bought this from Goodwill. I love that when you go to the thrift store and you see tags from other thrift stores underneath the tag from that thrift store. And what makes me very annoyed is when they like obviously increase the price. You're like, wait a minute, if I would have bought this originally at Goodwill for a dollar, now you're selling it to me for like five dollars. That's not fair. Um, I feel like something should go down in price as it's donated. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but taking off the stickers. There's no, well, there's kind of maybe like a very faint marking up there, but I don't know. So not necessarily art assigned, but definitely handmade. And the fact that it has the little like hearts, oh, gosh, there we go. 
I thought that was really, really sweet. So anyways, this will be available in my Etsy shop. There's absolutely giant thing here available in my Etsy shop. Um, and then the bust is very much TBD. The rest of the stuff in the haul actually has come from just a single trip to Value Village, which is amazing. It usually requires me to go several days a week, different places to get a haul of stuff to show you. But this trip was very successful and I had a 30% off coupon. So it was like <laughs> the things thrifting dreams are made of. Okay, so first off the bat, this brass tray, you know brass trays are something that are really hot sellers for me. They always, always sell and they always sell for a decent amount. So this was $12.99, uh, but 30% off, so really good deal. I thought, I have not seen this particular pattern etched in before. It has like this bird and flowers and I love when the edges have like this raised detail. So very 3D, very cool. So it can be a tray or it can hang on the wall. So I made the mistake of showing my mom a picture of this. I was like, look at all the stuff I got at Value Village. She's like, I've been looking for a tray. I think you should give it to me. So this may be going to my mom. So don't get too excited if you were like, ooh, I wanna buy that because I think my mom's gonna have it. I mean, she does buy stuff for me for my Etsy shop and she also gave birth to me. So I guess, I guess she can have it, but ooh, did it hurt because I was like so excited because usually I'm paying out for brass trays for my shop. Um, so when I found one this big, this cool at that price, I was like, yes, like the profit will be amazing. And then no profit. So, well, but that's kind of how it goes. So anyways, this will not be available for sale because someone claimed it. So that would be my mom. But uh, I have some other fun brass pieces to show you. So uh, this brass planner, super excited about. Now I very rarely find brass planters like this that are rectangles. I now have two, one is available in my Etsy shop already. And then I'm gonna add this one to it. So these are very cool because they're like very contemporary and modern. Um, you know, most planters are round. I mean, just like every planter basically is round. So it's kind of nice to have something like this, which breaks it up. Um, so yeah, so it has these cute little nubbin feet and that's very cool like, um, uh, what's this called? Anyways, like a ribbing pattern on the side. So yeah, this was $8.99 with 30 off. So I thought it was a really good deal. It's in very good shape. So yeah, I just thought very cool piece, especially if you're looking for a rectangular planter for a change, this will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so more brass, as you can imagine, because you know me, <laughs> I pick up a lot of brass. So I got another brass tray, decorative tray. It's this one right here in really good shape. Not a lot of patina on it, which I thought was amazing. I loved this like fencing. That's not the right term, edge <laughs> fencing around it. And then it has the like cute, sweet handles, uh, made in uh, India brass. So yeah, this is like awesome for like styling up and organizing your um, little bits of jewelry, and then also like perfumes, makeup, stuff in your bathroom, on your dresser. I mean, these are so versatile. So you've heard me say this before a million times if you watch my channel, but yeah, something like this I thought was great. It's only $3.99 with 30% off, so I thought that was a steal. So yeah, something like this usually flies out of my Etsy shop. So anytime I see pieces like this, I always have to pick them up. Okay, so I think we should just like kill all the brass. We'll just, I'll just show you all the brass. Hopefully you're not gonna get brass fatigued. Uh, the next piece kind of reminds me of like an urn, but it has no lid, so therefore it's not an urn. Um, but this piece I thought was very, very stunning. Um, a shape like this I haven't seen very often, and I pick up a lot of brass pieces, vases, and things like that, you know, if you watch my channel. So this was actually something I hadn't seen before. I love that it has like this fun moment on the side with the little handles like this. I thought that was very cool. A lot of amazing etchings. And then, yeah, just a very wide mouth. Now I paid up for this. Um, this is one of those pieces where I feel like they lost their mind a little bit. It was $20. So if I didn't have the 30% off coupon, I don't know if I would have picked it up because that was that's a lot for this, especially like there's still margin left, um, but still I like to get these pieces for like well under $20 to make it worthwhile, especially like list it, ship it, all that stuff. So this piece will be available at Etsy shop. But yeah, I thought, Oh my goodness, it's such like a cool transitional piece because it could definitely be used in stuff that's a little bit more traditional, but also very much in a poem that's modern because of the shape is just so, so good. So anyways, yeah, this is a must to pick up. So you can't wait to add it to my Etsy shop. 
So just a couple more brass pieces to show you and then I promise we'll move on to other items. So I got this brass piece to $3.99. Um, it has these sweet like little handles here. So yeah, I'm not sure what it's originally used for. I mean, obviously it can be for serving. Just know that not all brass serving pieces are technically food safe. So for something like this, I probably wouldn't put actual food in it, but you know, you could put other like accoutrements and stuff that, you know, utensils and things, um, napkins, I don't know. So I'm not exactly sure like what this would have originally been used for with these little handles. But yeah, I thought it was cute. $3.99, 30% off. Had to get it because I thought, why not? It's just that, you know, it's just so cheap. Um, and then the other final brass that I got before we move on to other stuff are a bunch of nap napkin rings. So I'm on the hunt for napkin rings for a variety of reasons. One, they actually like sell pretty well, um, which is crazy because I feel like you know, they're brass napkin rings. Like who has, who's using decorative napkins that often? I guess a lot now. I mean, Etsy is saying that one of the biggest trends right now in home decor is like tablescaping. I guess because people like didn't do that for like two years and now they're just like, you know what, if we're having people over, we're having cloth napkins and napkin rings. So I'm picking these up. These are like ones for um, Christmas time. So they have, um, season's greetings on them, which I thought was really cute. So yeah, it's a set of, I think this is three, I think each was like a set of um, eight, which is amazing. So that's the other thing about napkin rings. Like if you find them, if you find sets of them, you know, in large quantities, definitely get them because these are the types of things that go missing over the years. And you know, napkin rings like this, like haven't been a hot ticket for a while until apparently now post pandemic. Um, so yeah, so I got these for the holiday, but I'm also on a mission to find a bunch for my brother's um, engagement part, not engagement party, rehearsal dinner um, coming up in a few weeks. And so um, we thought, ooh, let's use napkin rings. Cause like I said, Etsy said, tablescaping is hot. So um, yeah, so I've been on the hunt for them big time. And luckily I've actually been finding them because I go long periods of not seeing them at all. So anyways, it's never too early to like pick up holiday items. So if you're a reseller, um, you can sell holiday items all year round. I just sold a holiday um, Christmassy looking uh, candle holder. I'll pop a picture on the screen. I was just like, why is this selling in June? But it did. So anyways, never too soon to pick up Christmas stuff. Okay, so just a few more things to show you. Um, I got this wooden box that day at Value Village. It was $4.99. Um, with 30% off, but yeah, I think the lining is that red color, but look at the detail. I mean, it is just beautiful. Now I see these types of wooden carved boxes quite a bit, but this one, I want to just really takes the cake in terms of the level of intricacy, intricacy. God, if I could even say that word, <laughs> Intr in I'm not even gonna try, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, I just, with the carvings, I think it's just absolutely stunning. So yeah, when I saw it, I had to get it because it's in such good shape and also like the interior is not icky. Sometimes the interior on this stuff can be icky depending on what was stored in here. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. The second to last item before I show you my favorite piece is this really big blue ceramic bowl. Now this is actually handmade by that person there. So it's definitely like a studio pottery piece. So this is definitely not like by a, I don't think a professional <laughs> per se. I think it's someone learning. It's very heavy, but I just fell in love with the blue. I thought it was beautiful. It was only $5.99 with 30% off, um, which is great because as you know, planters are very expensive, especially like cer big ceramic planters um, like this. Um, new, oh my God, that could be just so expensive. So. For that price, I had to bring it home, especially like with the blue color. So this will not be available in my Etsy shop because I have plenty of things that can go into this. So yeah, this is gonna be a keeper. Okay, so I did it again. If you watch my channel, you know, I always say, oh, this is the last piece or second to last piece. And then I look around me and I realize I have more things to show you. So another piece I have to show you, another ceramic piece is this very cool, like a contemporary black ceramic planter. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen a real, um, like a real video where I took like this piece from thrifted to style. So it's like a type of like video I like to shoot. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should because I share a lot of behind the scenes content and my thrifting, like stuff in my home, um, you know, things that I've styled up, things like this. You get a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I 
will be showing you in my haul videos before they make it. So anyways, a lot of fun content. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please consider doing it. I would love it if you um, could join me on my thrifting journeys. But yeah, this piece I just thought was so cool. One question I get and I did get on this video is, you know, do you need... I'm going to tip this and hopefully nothing is falling out. But there's no drainage holes in this. Um, and so if you're planting up succulents um, in cactus like this, like these three things can live together very um, happily. You just have to make sure, one, they're getting enough light. So they need to be by light source. Um, but also just if you're watering them sparingly, you don't have to have drainage holes. So I don't know if you know that. If you're out and you're just like lamenting that you want to buy a planter and you find stuff like this, you're like... Can I use it as a planter without a, like a hole in the bottom? Yes, you can if you're not like a crazy person who waters like their plants to death. That's one of the biggest like things um, that people like fail at with plant ownership is they think that they need to water more than they do. So succulents, cactus don't need a lot of water, so they don't need drainage holes. So anyways, I know I like digressed a little bit down a path of plant ownership, but well, a lot of us are owning plants these days. So anyways, Planters like this, if you can find them, really great find because they're just so cheap. This was only, I think it was, I took the sticker off obviously to style up. So $3.99, I think. Um, it would have been definitely under five. So yeah, when I see stuff like this, I always pick it up. This will obviously not be available because I have already planted it. So um, yeah, but yeah, definitely keep an eye out for planters like this. Really anything can be a planter. So I have the final item to show you. This piece I was very excited to find. I love picking up vintage art. Artwork is my favorite thing to thrift, like hands down. I just don't find it very often that is affordable for one or that is even worth like picking up because there's a lot of bad art out there. Like a lot of art that's not, nope, not worth owning. And so uh, when you find a really good piece, you just have to like, base, like take, embrace it, take it home and just like thank the thrifting gods because frankly it doesn't happen that often. So. This is that piece for me. I was, I saw it and I was like, ah. So it is, I know it's like, this piece is not gonna be for everyone because it's kind of, it's kind of a weird piece, but I do love a good still life. And this is the still life that I pick up. So I know you're probably like, Dandy, that is so not the piece of art I thought you were gonna show us because it is a painting, an acrylic painting of sunglasses, a envelope, ribbons, and matches underneath. So yeah, so just take this all in in its glory. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It has this like very cool shadow box. It's kind of like rustically framed if I had to say. Um, and so it's yeah, definitely a piece that I would love to have known the background on it and like who did it. That's the problem is it doesn't really have an artist's signature. So I kind of need to like do a little bit of research and see like who it could possibly be. I don't know how you would do that. Um, but here's the back. I can show you the back in terms of like the framing. So you can definitely tell it was someone art. I and mean, I guess I'm not surprised that artist signed with the way that it was framed. It's kind of like crazy framed. But yeah, I thought this piece was so cool. I thought I, for the most part, could convince my husband into it. Well, one, it was only $9.99 with 30% off. So seven books. Um, and also it has enough like pops of color where I think that he, he would have been on board. He doesn't like subdued art. And of course, like the majority of this is gray, but I thought these like pops of color made it really, really fun. So I love pieces like this. I love, um, like still lifes and, you know, modern stuff. And oh, you know, you know me, my, my artwork taste is very varied. Um, so yeah, when I saw this, I was like, huh, amazing so yeah so i'm not sure you'll have to let me know what you think of this piece because i know it's not for everybody and i'm sure you're like i wonder if she's gonna pick up like a very modern piece because that's usually what i'm picking up i know that in my last video i showcased some beautiful beautiful florals um which yeah i just have fallen in love with those my husband thinks we're selling them i'm not sure i'm gonna be able to because i've had them like just set aside in my house and now i'm like very much attached to them. Um, anyway, so they may be a permanent fixture. We will see. So anyways, that is all I have to show you today. So you have to let me know what you think of all my finds, all the brass. Definitely comment on this lady. What was she in a previous life? Because I'm not sure why she has holes in her. And then, yeah, let me know what you think of my uh, piece of art that I picked up because I know it's like kind of unusual, very unusual thing. So anyways, Thanks so much for watching. I have a lot more um, vintage haul footage to show you soon. 
So if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of that. And then also if you're on Instagram and you're not following me, I would love it if we could be friends. So hope to see you in my next video and talk to you soon. Bye.